In this baseline review, I'm going to walk you through the software and I'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step. So what is actually baseline? Baseline is actually a brand design and management platforms that help you generate brand sky and design assets that are always on brand. You can actually use a template or explore the design editor to create content like Instagram story, YouTube thumbnail and more. So who's actually suitable for baseline? Baseline is actually suitable for content creator, marketer, solo entrepreneurs looking for an easier way to create brands assets on the fly so without wasting much time let me jump into the screen and show you baseline but before that if you want to purchase baseline i actually have a link on my description box go ahead and use my link to do the purchase so what you're actually looking at is actually the interface of baseline so the very first thing you need to do is create your brand first so by creating a brand just click into this here so from here you can actually name your brand so let me you use my channel name, top sense review, and then just click. Okay. So from here, you do you have a logo? If let's say you have a logo, you can actually click, upload your logo here. If you do not have a logo, they will actually create a simple logo for you. Okay. So from here, you can actually select your color. And if you let's say you want to change the color here, you can actually edit the color or you can actually copy the color code. But for this demo, let me just select this color code. And right now, baseline is actually creating your logo. Okay. So the very simple logo over here. If let's say you want to tweak this logo, you can actually tweak this. You can actually change the uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize them. You can actually change the color as well or the letter spacing. Okay. Let's say you want to use this logo here. Just press select. Okay. So right now, the color petal, you can actually choose the primary color over here, the support color 1, 2, and 3. You can actually adjust accordingly. If you want the blue color to be the support color 1, you can actually adjust over here. Or if you want to have more colors, of course, you can actually add it here. Once you're actually happy with the color, okay, you can actually just click into the next step itself. Okay. So right now, you can actually choose your gradient. So by choosing a gradient, it's very easy. If you like this gradient, just select this or this. Then you can actually confirm your gradient. Okay. So the next thing you need to select is actually the brand fonts itself. So there's actually tons of font for you to choose. So you can actually choose at your end. But for this demo, let me just use this font itself. Once you're happy with the fonts, then just press next. I selected my fonts. So right now, the next one you actually create is the type scale itself. So you can actually choose the scales of the fonts. Okay, there's actually things with the different type of scales. So once you're happy with these scales, okay, you can actually scroll to the bottom and then just click this. So right now, this is actually the brand guide being selected by you. You can actually see the logo over here. Okay, then the color you chose earlier on. And then the gradient okay and then the fonts and then the font size as well okay if let's say the brand guides you want to share the brand guide you just press share over here so after this you can actually go to the home screen of baseline so right now your brand is actually being created you can actually see your brands over here so additional thing which you can actually add is actually the tone of voice so you can actually tell people what kind of tone of voice you want for your brand itself okay so you can actually click into these three buttons you can actually view your brand guide again edit your brands add an edit tones of voice you can actually edit a logo safe zone or you can actually delete the brand itself okay so moving on the top you can actually see you can actually create a lot of social media posts like instagram facebook twitter product hunt image a LinkedIn feed post, LinkedIn company banner, Pinterest pin, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube banner as well. Okay. So for this demo, let me just create a simple Instagram post itself. Okay. So you just click into that. They actually have different category. So sales, fashion, events, code, food, restaurants, cafe, of course, educational, travel, news, and etc. So for this demo, let me just create a sales post. Okay, let's click into this. You can actually see the sales post is already created by uh, baseline. 
you can actually see the font is actually selected by you, the color. Okay, then actually you can see the is the logo also been done also. So it's actually very easy. If let's say you do not like any of that, you want to create at your end, you can actually create a, a Instagram post from scratch itself. But for me, I don't have any creativity in uh, this uh, design, so I will actually use a template. But for this demo, uh, I will just use this sales 50% off. See, there's actually an editor for this. Okay, so on the left, you can actually add the element. Okay, there's actually tons of element for you to add. Then you can actually change the image as well over here. You let's say you have your own image or own model, you can actually upload your own image. There's also more templates. If let's say you do not want to use this template, you can choose the template as well over here. Okay, so there's also setting as well. Also, okay, so if let's say you want to edit this image, just click into this. Then from here, you can actually adjust the photo. So for photo adjustment, you can actually remove the background, you can actually adjust all the photo image as well. So you can actually have a photo filter. Let's say you want this filter, you can actually change to this filter. Okay, so there's actually different type of filter for you to choose. Okay, so for transparency, you can actually adjust the transparency for the image as well. You want to change the text, you can change the color as well. You can actually change the uh, text over here, just double click, you can change the text over here. You can change the color. Okay, you can actually change the font and then you can actually do some basic editing. Then there's actually text effect. You can actually uh, do the text outline. Okay, then also you can actually toggle to transparent text. You can actually add a text shadow or there's actually some preset settings. You can actually put just outline, offset, neon, okay, 3D text. If let's say you're happy with this uh, Instagram post, you can actually download it over here. Okay, you can actually download by PNG, JPEG or WebP itself. So once you are done, you can actually go back to the home screen. You can actually see your design over here. Basically, this is actually very easy to create your social media posts. So my thoughts about baseline is they actually create a brand for you. You can actually select your colors, your fonts, your gradients. So whenever you want to create your social media post, they actually created based on your requirement. So this is actually one thing which I like about baseline. And of course, there's a lot of things which they can actually improve. The next thing which I'm going to show you is actually the price for baseline. Okay. So the, this is actually an app so module for tier one. It's actually a $69. You can actually create five brands and five brand guide, unlimited design per month and unlimited download. For second tier is actually 139. You can actually create 20 brands, 20 brand guides and unlimited design and also download. So for the third tier is actually 209. You can actually have unlimited brands and unlimited uh, brand guide itself also. If you want to purchase by slide, I actually have a link in my description box. Go ahead and use my link itself. Okay. So it comes to my end of this baseline review. I actually hope you learned something from me. If let's say you want to watch more software review, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Okay. So to the next review, I will see you. Meanwhile, take care and goodbye.